Hello everyone, welcome back to the 500 MCQ series of Drug Inspector exam. So in today's video, we will be discussing the question number from 26 to 30. So the first question of the day, drug of choice for severe acute migraine, A choice, NSAIDs, B choice, propranolol, C choice, sumatriptan, D choice, sodium valproate, E choice, magnesium sulfate. So we know that uh, in the case of migraine, in the case of mild mild migraine, in the case of migraine with mild cases, the drug of choice, the drug of choice are NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, so in the case of mild migraine, the drug of choice for uh, migraine are NSAIDs, the commonly used NSAIDs include paracetamol, Paracetamol, diclofenac, naproxen, ibuprofen, intomethacin. Okay, so in the case of mild cases, you can uh, give non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Whereas in the case of uh, in the treat treatment of uh, severe cases, for treating severe cases, the drug of choice, the drug of choice is triptan drugs. The name of the drug will end with the triptan. The drug of choice are triptan drugs. The examples include sumatriptan. So the word of the name of this drug end with triptan that's why they are called as triptan drugs almotriptan almotriptan risatriptan solmitriptan okay so these are a few examples for uh, triptan drugs and they are the drug of choice in the case of severe migraine okay now in the case of prophylaxis in the case of prophylaxis the case of prophylaxis, the drug of choice is propranolol, which is a beta blocker, propranolol which is a beta blocker that is a drug of choice. Apart from propranolol, you can give uh, flunaricin, flunaricin, the brand name of this drug is very common that is Sibelium. Sibelium, flunaricin comes under the brand name Sibelium. Apart from uh, flunaricin, other drugs are uh, the anti-epileptic drugs like uh, sodium valproate, lamotrigine, topiramate. So these are some of you anti-epileptic drugs which can be used for the prophylaxis of migraine. Also, the antidepressants like uh, amitriptyline can be used as a prophylactic for migraine. Amitriptyline. Okay. So, so the drug of choice for prophylaxis, the correct answer would be definitely propranolol is the drug of choice in the case of prophylaxis. For the severe case, it is triptan drug, and for mild cases, it is NSAIDs. Now, coming back to our question, drug of choice for the severe case, they have asked. They have asked for severe cases. So, in the case of severe migraine, the answer would be triptan drugs. So, the correct answer would be C choice sumatriptan. Propranol is the drug of choice for prophylaxis. NSAID is for mild cases. Now, moving to the second question of the day. So, the question is uh, iodine tincture contain A choice 5 percentage iodine plus 10 percentage potassium iodate. K I means potassium iodate. 2 percentage iodine plus 2.5 percentage potassium iodine, C choice 10 percentage iodine plus 6 percentage potassium iodine, D choice 10 percentage iodine plus polyvinyl pyrrolidone and last choice HiO4, HiO4. Okay. Now first thing you need to let us look into the A choice that is 5 percentage iodine plus 10 percentage iodine. This is called as aqueous iodine solution. 
so if it is a com uh, composition of iodine plus potassium iodide in the in the ratio 5 percentage iodine plus 10 percentage potassium iodide that is called as aqueous iodine solution or Lugol solution so Lugol solution the composition is 5 percentage iodine and 10 percentage potassium iodide now let's look into the second choice 2 percentage iodine plus 2.5 percentage potassium iodide so this is the composition of weak iodine solution weak iodine solution so, so in the case of uh, weak iodine solution the percentage of iodine is 2 2 percentage and potassium iodide is 2.5 percentage this weak iodine is also called as tincture iodine tincture of iodine or iodine tincture tincture of iodine or iodine tincture so in, in iodine tincture the ratio of iodine and potassium iodide is 2 percentage iodine and 2.5 percentage potassium iodide now look at the C choice 10 percentage iodine here the concentration of iodine is 10 percentage which has got increased so such solution 10 percentage iodine plus 6 percentage potassium iodide the, uh, the this composition is present in strong iodine solution because the concentration of iodine is uh, more so it is the composition of strong iodine solution okay now let us look into the D choice 10 percentage iodine plus polyvinyl pyrrolidone okay so basically this mixture is uh, seen in iodine plus polyvinyl pyrrolidone iodine plus the complex of iodine plus polyvinyl pyrrolidone abbreviated as pvp so this is the composition of povidone iodine povidone iodine so basically these iodine com iodine uh, compounds are basically they are germicidal compounds counter irritant compounds and in povidone iodine the composition is iodine plus polyvinyl pyrrolidone okay now the in this uh, pyrrolidone the percentage of iodine will be 10 percentage so d choice 10 percentage iodine plus polyvinyl pyrrolidone uh, the it is the composition present in povidone iodine okay now hio4 is uh, nothing but uh, per iodine the molecular formula of per iodic acid so the molecular formula of per iodic acid is hio4 hio4 now coming back to your question iodine tincture contain yes the correct answer will be 2 percentage iodine and 2.5 percentage potassium iodide so the correct answer is b choice now coming to the 28th question ehrlich reagent is chemically ehrlich reagent is chemically a choice para dimethyl amino benzoic acid b choice para dimethyl amino benzaldehyde c choice para diethyl amino benzoic acid d choice para diethyl amino benzaldehyde and the last choice para diethyl amino cinnamic acid so first of all we need to know what is the function of ehrlich reagent why it is used actually okay so the ehrlich reagents are they are basically used to detect the first two there are two mainly two function the first function of ehrlich reagent is used to, they can be used to detect indole compounds indole they can be used to detect indole compounds okay so since they can detect the presence of indole this can be used for the test of ergot alkaloids because ergot alkaloid contain indole group so they can be used to test for the test of the, as the chemical test for ergot alkaloid and since, since they can detect uh, indole they can also be used to as a test for tryptophan tryptophan amino acid tryptophan is an amino acid which contain indole group okay so for the tryptophan test as well as for ergot alkaloid test you can use uh, ehrlich reagent ehrlich reagent because the uh, ehrlich reagent has the capability to, to detect the this particular heterocyclic ring called as indole okay in ergot alkaloid indole is present and in tryptophan amino acid also indole is present so we can use it as a test for ergot alkaloid as well as tryptophan amino acid test another function of ehrlich reagent is it can detect the presence of urobilinogen in urine it can 
detect the presence of urobilinogen in urine okay so these are the two important uh, functions of uh, ehrlich reagents uses of ehrlich reagent they can detect indole group which can be utilized for the ergot alkaloid test and tryptophan amino acid test another function is that it can detect the presence of urobilinogen in the urine okay now uh, coming to the composition so basically uh, ergot alkaloid contain benzaldehyde structure that means a benzene with the cho okay now at the para position there is a nitrogen which contain two methyl group okay so in benzaldehyde at the para position there is a nitrogen with the two methyl group so the so the correct name of this compound is para dimethyl para dimethyl amino benzaldehyde so basically it's a benzaldehyde derivative with a dimethyl amino group at the para position so the correct answer for this question will be b choice para dimethyl amino benzaldehyde okay now let's move on to the next question of the day the question is the latest edition of the latest edition of the latest edition that means the recent edition of indian pharmacopoeia was published in the year a choice 2023 b choice 2022 c choice 2020 d choice 2018 e choice 2016 so first of all you need to know the indian pharmacopoeia commission abbreviated as ipc they have set a standard they have set of standards for all the drugs okay they have a set of standards for all the drugs uh, including the manufacture sales consumption everything they have a set of standards okay for all the drugs which is uh, manufactured in india or sold in india or consumed in india they have a set of standards now these standards are published these standards are published under the title called as indian pharmacopoeia okay so indian pharmacopoeia is published by indian pharmacopoeia commission ipc okay now the first uh, uh, the first edition of indian pharmacopoeia the first edition of indian pharmacopoeia came in the year 1955 1955 now the second edition came after 11 years after 11 years that is in the year 1966 the third edition came after 19 years that is 1985 now the fourth edition the fourth edition came again after 11 years that means 1985 plus again 11 years that means 1996 fifth edition fifth edition came after 11 years that is 2007 sixth edition came in 2010 now after after 2010 every four year the next editions came so seventh edition came in 2014 eighth edition came in 2018 and the recent edition that is in 2022 the recent edition has come 2022 that is the ninth edition okay so the recent edition is basically the ninth edition which has come in the year 2022 okay now uh the latest edition uh, the correct answer is uh, b choice 2022 okay now let's move on to the next question of the day the last question uh, therapeutic index is the ratio of median lethal dose to median effective dose b choice ratio of median effective dose to median lethal dose ratio c choice ratio of plasma concentration to clearance or all of the above so we all know that therapeutic index is the indicator of uh, safety therapeutic index is an indicator for safety of the drug and uh, the equation for therapeutic index is ld50 by ed50 so this is the equation for therapeutic index ld50 by ed50 ld50 is nothing but the 50 indicates the meaning of 50 is that median value that is the median value so l means lethal dose so it is a ratio of median lethal dose divided by e means ed means effective dose again 50 means median 
so median effective dose so this ratio is called as therapeutic index the ratio of median lethal dose to median effective dose is called as the therapeutic index so one more point you need to remember if the value of therapeutic index is uh, low it is an unsafe drug it is a, the drug is not safe if the therapeutic index value is very high it is a safe drug okay so it is an indicator for safety of a drug and it is a ratio of ld50 divided by ed50 so here the correct answer will be ratio of median lethal dose to median effective dose that is a choice so hope you understood this uh, discussion session keep on watching our videos thank you